Hey guys and girls, Nathan Birch here from the Be Invested headquarters and gonna to talk to you about what I see happening over the course of the next 12, 24 months. I'm not your financial advisor or anything like that. I'm just here to talk about what I see and what I'm doing and how I'm planning to kick ass in 2018, make more millions and add extra zeros to my net worth position. A lot of losers will go out there and be able to sit there in their little shitty life that they live, being unhappy and not fucking doing anything about it. And they'll be just driving to work with the shits, not taking action, listening to the bullshit media that comes out and says, oh, this is how it's gonna happen, this is how it is, or listening to whoever you know, is giving you advice in your networks. Your network will be your net worth, I guess, at the end of the day. Uh, if you are hanging around people that are fucking whinging about how shit their lives are or whatever, you're gonna be just the same as them or are you gonna be able to you know, step aside from that, take action to put yourself in a different position? So looking at the market at the moment, obviously there's lots of shitty media out there talking about the market, et cetera, et cetera. And I think that this will be a short-term glitch. I've seen glitches like this in the market many times over the course of the last 15 years of investing. I think that there's some very uh, good bargains out in the marketplace at the moment. Uh, I love this time. This is my favorite time in the marketplace. Going back three years ago, I'd be sitting there uh, buying properties for myself and my clients and by the time I literally hang up the phone, sign a contract, send it back and the property's not even on the market, it's sold for an extra $20,000 and I fucking hate that with the agents. I didn't have control because the agents did it. It was a, a, a seller's market, not a buyer's market. And looking at the marketplace at the moment is turning more back into a buyer's market. And what does that mean? It means that the agents are working for me again. Uh, they're, you know, I've taken my baseball bat, bat out and I can smash them on price and smash vendors on price in order to get the best results uh, for myself and my clients. You know, a lot of people's mindset at the moment is feeling deflated and I think it's fucking stupid. Uh, I think that people have been delusional. They've been on a big fucking bender for the last period of 10 years, eight years, whatever, uh, since the GFC. Uh, obviously because the money supply system where people are getting the money from and the banks being able to lend more money, et cetera, et cetera, has uh, made them believe a false economy that property just keeps going up and up and up. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that between the years of 2003 to 2008, property did fuck all, if not went backwards. Uh, and that's where I accumulated my wealth in that period of time. Uh, a lot of people came on now and they're like, oh wow, I wanna get into the property market because everyone's getting on board about buying properties. Well, fuck what everyone else is doing. It's important if you wanna build yourself wealth that's gonna be undestructible through any marketplace, it's important to be able to, you know, I think Warren Buffett, not that I'm a fan of him, I think he's a bit idiot myself, but um, he always talks about the fact that uh, buy when others are fearful and sell when others are greedy. And looking at the marketplaces, a lot of people go, wow, the prices have risen, I must jump on the bandwagon. Well, fucking property doesn't always go up, but it's important to find the periods where, um, where it doesn't and be able to jump onto that and capitalize upon that and be able to take action. So uh, do I see a GFC style issue? Um, you know, everyone talks about the property market and America and whatever. That just happened because it was a Ponzi scheme in that period of time. Probably the whole system's on a Ponzi scheme, but that's a different story. What do I see happening in Australia uh, at this point in time? I wind the clock back to 2007 and 2009. What happened in that period of time is property went up, not in every market, and nor does it always happen like that. You know, at that period of time, there was a commodities boom and there was lots of mining towns and things going up for periods where other things weren't and vice versa now. You know, obviously we've seen lots of properties go up over the last few years, but uh, you know, looking at mining towns and stuff, they've been shit and rubbish, as I've always said from the start. Uh, and I don't, still don't think it's a good time to be going in there and buying that stuff. But buying properties with core fundamentals, uh, obviously we live in a country which is one of the most um, aspirational places to be in the world. Uh, we need to keep uh, bringing in migrating people in the country and we don't have enough houses still or property still to house everyone. So the way that the system works, is we've got lots of fucking bills that we need to pay. We need to generate tax revenue. For us to generate tax revenue, we need to get more slaves. I mean, more people to come in and be a part of our economy and fit into our system. As we're a kid, we're told, go get ourselves a good job, shut the fuck up, listen to what we have to say at school, and uh, go and have your lunch when the bell goes off. Go and do this, go do that, do, go do the next thing. You're designed to go and fit into being a part of a, a cattle, to go and get a job and fit in the economy to work hard, pay taxes, and that's how the system survives. So for us to grow as a country, we need more people to come in. We need them to be able to earn money, pay taxes, so then the government gets more wealthier. It would be suicide for any government to stop that from happening. The writing's on the wall that we need more properties. 
we're going to have an influx of demand for the properties and the prices are inevitably going to go up. In that point of view, uh, obviously picking them up while they're on special, on sale, or the ability to be able to negotiate and the power is back in your hand is the best time to take action. So if you do need help in taking action, devising a plan, being able to locate and negotiate properties on your behalf, or anything that comes to uh, building wealth, uh, contact us at Bean Invested 1300-367925 or email us at admin at Have an awesome day and make sure you don't fuck yourself in 2018.